what? This is just open. What? It's like it was meant to be, boys. There's no way. I was gonna try and sneak through the gate. We're in. Well, as you guys just saw, I'm in a neighborhood I've never fished before. And uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. Now I've never fished here before, so I have no idea what's in here. But I would assume that there's tarpon and snook. Just because of where it is. So I'm gonna be using these soft plastics today. These were sent to me by a viewer. Uh, he makes them. I believe they're called estate baits. So let's see how they do. It's a little chilly out, so I figure I'll try and work everything pretty slow. Cause the fish probably don't want to move too fast. Be chasing stuff around. Well, looks like this pond was a swing and a miss. Let's move on to the next one. This, this looks fishy. try see if I can get over there Let's see got a nice little bench down here for me what maybe everything's over in this corner Fish. What is it? A little snook? Yep. It's a little snook. There's little ones, it means that there's big ones. Alright, bro, well, if you're watching this, let's see your battle tails work. Let's get this guy back in the water. Alright, let's see if we can get a bigger one. He's a little better. Is that a fish? It's moving. What is this? Why is it so heavy? What is going on? What is this? Did I hook a turtle? What? It's huge. It has to be a turtle. Oh my gosh. It's a massive softshell turtle. How does that even happen? Get my pliers. Horrible release. Sorry about that, buddy. Seems like if I just cast right here every time, and then reel in, they always hit right there. So I don't know if they're just stacked up down there. It's like right here. Yep. It's weird. Maybe there's just a big school of them sitting there. <laughs> well, shoot, now that I know that, I'm just gonna keep doing that. All right, buddy. I'm starting to think maybe, oops, same fish. All right, I can't keep doing this. 
Let me check your mouth. Make sure you don't have any more holes in it. No, it's the one. I think there would be something down there over 20 inches long. This is getting too repetitive, guys. I can't keep catching 15 inch snooks, so I'm gonna take these things into the backwaters and see if we can catch maybe some different species on it. So I'll go ahead and uh, just cut right to it right now. All right, you guys. So out here, day two with the estates baits. And I'm liking, I'm liking this gray one here. Oh no. Oh wait, it's a barracuda. All right, back into the water you go. They stink so bad, even when they're tiny like that. We were held up great though. There's a fish. What are you? Feels like a red. It is a red. Oh, it's another sea trout. Another nice one. Caught one of these here the other day. Come here, buddy. All right, all right. Oh, he came off. But that was a nice sea trout. So what do we got so far? Snook, a barracuda, and a sea trout. Pretty good. I went ahead and threw a 3 8 jig head on just because I assume that those trout are hanging out down here on the bottom. Oh, fish. Don't be a lady. Don't be a lady. Feels like a jack. It's because it is a jack. All right, well, it's another species. Oh, come here, buddy. There's your uh, very common Jack Creval. Hey, it's another species on the estates. Wow, this water is cold. Oh yeah, got something good. Whoa. Okay, okay, that's a real fish. It's like a huge jack. All right, I'm gonna guess. This is either a huge jack or a massive snook or a nice redfish. I don't know, it could be so many things. The way it's going around the boat like this though, it's got jack vibes for sure. It's gotta be a jack, right? What are you? Yeah, this has to be a jack. Yep, big jack. They come in here in the winter. Yeah, that thing was pulling drag like crazy. Whew. 